Hey Stampers, Gail again and I'm just doing a little bonus video for you today so uh, and I'm a bit having a play as well so it's a little bonus video, a little chin wag, a bit of a talk um, I've had a bit of controversy on my honest opinion uh, the other day about my order uh, someone's told me I'm wrong um, but I can't be wrong because it's my opinion so I'm sorry I don't agree with that um, because nobody else is wrong if they give an opinion they're just giving their opinion so if I gave my opinion doesn't mean I'm wrong because I'm just saying what's honestly truth um, so and I would never turn to somebody and say your opinion is wrong because they're entitled to their opinion so I disagree with that comment um, I've also where do my loyalties uh, lie? Well, they lie with myself, my supporters, my subscribers, and my husband. Um, I don't owe anything to anybody else. I joined Stampin' Up! Thank you for the discount, which I really do enjoy, but I've spent over £20,000 with them in nearly four years, so I think I've paid for my loyalty there and the right to have a discount. This is the card we're going to make in a minute anyway, by the way. Isn't it gorgeous? That's that gorgeous wallpaper that the beautiful Deb's Price uh, gifted to me. And I went and got some more. And then she went and got me some more. <laughs> I've used the, the Glossy Accents, which is now called Shimmer Crystal Effects. Apparently Stampin' Up! used to sell this the, at a reasonable price according to another demonstrator, uh, which I've only just found out. So thank you for that, because she said the same thing. Why have they changed it when they already used to sell it? But I love these ice crystals. They're really big, but I'm sure you can get them from anywhere. Like again, my honest opinion always is going to be honest. I'm, I'm sorry, but... There's that gorgeous new ribbon I got the other day with my order. Absolutely love it. It's got sparkle in it, so I am not to add any. I am not to add shimmer spray or nothing. The wallpaper's already got it in. So it's only going to be a quick card and a quick bonus. And uh, yes, the comments are all on my videos if you want to go and see who left them. I'm not naming and shaming anybody, but they're there for all to see. Um, I've just bit disappointed because I've had one lady say she's unsubscribing and fair play that's your entitlement my darling I can't force you to do anything or I can't force anyone to do anything I can't force people to not go and buy what they want you're in, I'm entitled to my opinion I was not saying do not go and buy this these products I'm just letting you know my opinion on them so I just wanted to pop that straight so let's get our card base. You know me, I don't use Stampin' Up's card base. I use my own 300 GSM because it's really thick and I like a card base to be, have um, substance. You know, I don't want to open a flimsy card or send a flimsy card to anybody. So I, uh, I opt for the thicker card stock. It's, but that's my choice. <laughs> i got to keep saying this now. It's my choice, my decision, <laughs> my opinion. Um, and how I can be, and how I was brutally honest, and it might sound awful to say, yes, I was brutally honest, but, and I was praised for it by a lot, a lot of people. So, I'm not going to let the ones that spit out negativity to me get to me because I'm not intimidated in any way shape or form but this is that gorgeous wallpaper I love it isn't that gorgeous I added it to an album as well once and I'm doing it through the new embossing folder which I love as well I mean <laughs> oh I don't know can't please everybody all the time can you so as long as I can make sure I give honest opinions then that's what I'm going to keep on doing. So let me just run this through the big shot. It sounds a bit of... But it's not. <laughs> it's just the way it is. I like to go there and back. Oh, 
only so I don't have to stretch over the machine to grab it. <laughs> so just that's a lazy way of doing it again. So there, pop that through that beautiful embossing folder. And look, you get the brick wall effect in there and everything. It's brilliant. I love it. So this is our... And this, oh, I may have to trim this down. No, no, it's fine. My card base is three and seven, uh, is eight and a quarter, uh, eight and an eight, eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, folded and scored in half at four and one eighth. And the, D and the DSP, it's not, the wallpaper that I'm using is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. So let's get that glued on. I'll have to write the measurements down and hold the book up for you. Because I will, I started to do it in metric as well, and then I've slot, uh, well, because we've had the kids with us, they've gone home today actually. And I didn't have a chance to craft the last few days, so I'm catching up now. So I'm doing this one for you as a bonus today. You'll still get to see the video tonight as well. That starts at uh, 9 o'clock, I think. Or, yeah, 9 p.m. tonight. So just make sure you've got that on the right place, Gina, and not slanted. There we go, it's nice and straight at the bottom. Just take a little bit longer to go off because it is wallpaper and not DSP. But I think that is absolutely stunning. Do you know a sentiment and a ribbon now on there would look fantastic. We should do that as quick, simple stamping, isn't it? Just add some gorgeousness onto the back of the card. So with my piece of paper, which is always cut at three and seven eighths, but it was by five and five eighths, I basically took my ruler which has got a zero on and I laid it on until I got it bang on in the center so it was the same distance either side and marked it and then just cut it in half so I've had enough then to make my two cards instead of you know I'm just trying to be frugal you know these things do cost a fair bit so it fits across there beautifully as well Love it. I haven't wrapped that ribbon, if you noticed. it's. I just put double-sided tape down and then chopped it off at the ends. But I'm using the swirly frames. Now, I didn't get this till this year. It's been out a while. And I, I think it's dead cute. And I kept saying, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. And then I finally did, so love it. But this piece is too small, so I'll show you what I did. And the flowers are from the Inspiring Iris. Oh, gorgeous set. I love Stampin' Up's quality on the, the photo polymer. They're out of this world. Brilliant. Can't fault them. And I'm definitely a red rubber girl fan. Love the red rubber. So, what I did is I just inked up. as you can see and then I just ooh, pop this on it's the right width it's great for the width it's just not for the length so then I just turned it round stamped on the end there we go not that bad is it still got all my image on there just perfect I wonder if I've got that lady's address I'll send her the card saying you know sending hugs prayers and lots of love and hoping you get over what I said. <laughs> Should I send it to her? I think that would be nice. But I'm not saying no names, so like, but you can all go and read my comments if you want. They're not hidden. I haven't did remove them. That lady's entitled to her opinion as I am as entitled to mine. So I've got black ink all over me now. But I don't want to get it on my card. 
and then for them gorgeous iris oh look at that let me just get rid of those bits there we go and then for that beautiful iris it's here and I did stamp inside as well another image and I just turned it around so we've got decoration on the inside as well you know me are clean as I go along so and because I know I'm not going all the way to the top I'm not gonna ink all the way down because I want to get that along that line I've got a tiny little bit over there but that's not too noticeable plus we're going to be adding ribbon along the bottom so while our ink is out have, oh there's my card base look at me got this, this, this like I said the other day if it's a vicious dog it jumped up and bit me <laughs> I have no ill will against anybody either. like I say you're all entitled to your own opinions I was just giving mine. And also she likes to answer my comments as well, but you know, I wouldn't do that to anybody. I wouldn't go to somebody's channel and start answering other people's comments unless it was aimed at me. Oh, I think that's so rude. Oh, we need the ink again. Yeah, definitely wouldn't do anything like that. Oh my goodness. And then sending hugs, prayers, and lots of love. He's going in the top corner here. Absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful, beautiful set. I fell in love with this one as soon as I saw it in the June catalogue. I mean, I spent on £1,500 in June. So I wasn't dissing stamping up that way. I was dissing the quality of the paper. So, yes, my loyalty is to my beautiful, beautiful husband, my gorgeous, gorgeous subbies, and my beautiful ladies that come in chat at night. Love it. And I love them to pieces. So, I kept it quite tame. I didn't want bright, bright colours, so I'm using the dark, soft sea foam here. Just a nice, subtle card. Going over it a couple of times because I want it just slightly darker than what it is. Beautiful. And then I used the soft sea spray because it's the colour of the ribbon as well. So I use the light first. They've got stamps for this as well if you wanted to use a stamp. But I prefer to colour in instead of using the infill because I guarantee I'll never get it, even though it's photopolymer, I'll never get it over the stamp properly. So I like to do it this way. But yeah, I thought I'd give you all an extra whatever time it takes me to do this card a little bit of extra today because I feel like I've neglected my crafting for a while while the kids have been here even though I'm keeping up and making sure I've still got so many in front love it I'll hold it up to me in a minute and then I'm just going to add some darker bits where I'm hoping you can see them coming through Just absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful colour. Isn't that gorgeous? Nice and light and pale. Gonna have some sequins as well. Uh, and now for my tape. Where's that gone? There it is. And that gorgeous ribbon. Love it. So what I did, I just want to do, just come up off the frame a little bit. And 
just try and keep it as straight as possible. I always use a block on the end here because that way you can get it right to the very end. And I love that, that you can get it so close. The bone folder to get any air bubbles out. And even if your tape is slightly wonky at this point, we can adjust that with the ribbon. So peel back the tape. That's this beautiful ribbon. Oh, it's cut at an angle. Let me just snip that end up. In fact, And oops. And then I can snip that off that end. Isn't that gorgeous. And that's the only bit of waste we've got. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. Right, I'm popping these on dimensionals as well. So y'all enjoy the, the bonus video. I'm going to do it as a premiere, I think. I'll come in and have a chat with you girls at the same time. I do hope a lot of you are awake. Because you're all over in, in the rocker. There we go. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Isn't that gorgeous? And then I'm going to tie a bow with my bow maker because it's way better if I do it with that than if I try and do it. <laughs> Let's have a go, actually. Come on, let's try. You've got to learn to do it one day again. But make sure when you flick it round, you let it flick round. And then you can pull that. Oh, it's looking quite good actually. Just pull that one a little bit more. There we go. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Cute. But then there's a lot of waste on the end, so let's not. <laughs> we can just practice and then one day we might get it right. So, but this way I find there's no waste or a tiny little bit of waste. I've woke up with a groggy, right groggy throat this morning. But it's not hurting. It's just a bit on the groggy side. So pull your tails where you want them. Tiny little snip off there. And a snip off there. And that is the only bit of waste you're going to get. Because the ribbon, I love it and I can see me ordering a few more of these the way this is going, it's a stunning colour and it's going to look beautiful on the D designer series paper that I got the other day papers look absolutely amazing stunning colours with the background scenery and the silver on the, the foil on the other side just wanted a bit thicker card, that's all you know the papers themselves look beautiful. So you've got a pick now. I'm just going to grab another little bit of tape because I prefer to put mine on with a little bit of tape. You only need about a quarter of an inch. And you just pick the best side. That's the worst, not the worst side, but it doesn't, the less attractive side, I should say. And with the tape then, you can just pinch it together and it stays on the ribbon. And then you can just add that to your project. 
beautiful. Right now for this um, classy accents, what I did, I just squirted it to the end. And then just sort of like swooshed it round. Apparently this stuff is exactly the same as, oh what's it called, the fine tip glue pen. Just thin down in the fine tip glue pen. And then grab my piece of paper again. So I need to catch those little ice crystals. These will go a long way, believe it or not. And then I just pressed on it in. Just pressed it in with my finger. I suppose if you've got a big, huge lump, I suppose you could mix this together as well. Tap off the excess. And then pop it back in your jar. You don't want to lose any, do you? Nice big crystals though. I reckon that iris would look beautiful stamped on with the Christmas papers as well, believe it or not. And then you get that crystal effect in the centre. Beautiful. Right now to add some of our gorgeous, gorgeous sequins and they're from the, uh, the woven heirloom. Look at that, gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card. So I've got my gorgeous tool. Look at this, don't you just love this? Woo! <laughs> I love it, thank you, Ma. <laughs> You've made my day, my darling. And just, just add them wherever you want now. I've got an extra blob there, so I'll put five there, two there for now. And apart, well, you could have the pink ones as well, and just picking them up and putting them on. Whatever colour comes, comes. Nice little pink one. Another blue one. Oh, and another one. Two with one stone. I would have liked to have moved that out a bit. Cleaning off the end of the tool. Which I think there's a hole in that, you know, a pokey tool. Yeah, there is. I think it's for beads. I love that's my friend Cinders. So, perhaps maybe add another one there, just so it doesn't look so awkwardly clumped. Push that down. Oh, I love it. Now, it, it takes a bit to dry on here, so because again, it is wallpaper and it is the outside, so be careful now. So let's get a lovely little pink one. Just gonna have to pop them down and let them to dry. Pale blue. one as well. Come on, stick. That's it. And I'm not counting. Just doesn't want to come off because I've got glue on there now. 
clean the nozzle. Oh, look at that, two again. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. No right or wrong is there about doing cards and opinions because people are all entitled to their opinions. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Just pushing them down so they don't fall off. They've had time to start to dry now. Perfect. What do you reckon? Absolutely stunning. Love it. Look at beautiful. A little bit darker this side, but that wallpaper is fabulous. I've got those. That was imprinted. I got it the wrong way round, but I could use that side for something. That looks cute as well, doesn't it? Um, this one, I got that one wrong as well. <laughs> Never mind, Gainer, but you can use them for something else, I'm sure. There it is. This is that gorgeous wallpaper. It looks like that would be nice with that little unicorn on there as well. Oh, yeah. With the waves that look like the rainbow instead. Oh, now it's got my brain ticking over. Absolutely stunning, but I won't leave those two pieces there go to waste. I will do something with them. But I just thought I'd come and give you all a little bit of a bonus today. I feel like I'm back on track. And that we can get back to some serious crafting now. Um, yeah, but I, I, you will still see tonight's video as well. Mm. Mr. Boyce is gorgeous. He fetched me a cup of coffee up just before he started filming. He's a star, he is. He's my little star, and I love him to bits. So there we go. I hope you enjoy. Anyone likes a bit of a bonus video, there's that stunning ribbon. And there's that gorgeous stamp set. Absolutely stunning. What do you reckon? Right, I'd love a thumbs up and a share, if you don't mind. And um, please don't forget to press subscribe. Um, and then the bell, that way you get notifications, because I do tend to post every single day. And sometimes you do get the odd bonus video from me as well, like today. So, everything's falling off my desk. <laughs> but, yeah, come and see what we make tomorrow. In fact, if you press subscribe, go over to my channel, click set reminder on the premieres, you can come and join us in chat as well. Absolutely brilliant. Girls loving the chat in the nights. Not the only ones. We've made so many different friends. Oh, it's unreal. I love it, love it, love it. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the bonus. Till next time. Bye.